Hi, I'm Ayman. I'm a zombie. And that's Bella. And welcome back to another video in our continuing series on converting our patio into a sunroof. In last video, we finished building that side wall. Now what we're going to do is install this back wall at the other side of the patio. Alright, so we're rushing. So I guess we're just going to carry it in. Let's see. I don't know, this definitely can't be uh, carried by one person. It's very heavy. Which side is the top? Ah, this is the top. Okay. Alright, you ready? Oh, cool. you okay? So as I was saying before, building a new structure is very easy, but modifying an existing structure is very hard. And you can see that here especially. Uh, if you particularly look at the bottom here, these, these giant blocks here, uh, they, my dad called them railroad ties. They're a bit higher here on this end than on this end. And that's because this patio was designed to be sloped. So the railroad ties are also sloped. Not only on the bottom are they sloped, but on the top, if you look here, there's a small gap. Well, on this side, there is no gap. Maybe not designed with a slope in mind, but they, 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 they tried to make it straight, but it wasn't totally straight. Now, this is a problem because we want our frame to be square. So in order to account for this, what we did was we put some, some, uh, some shims here so that we could align it. And as you can see, in the top left, it is aligned correctly. And then what we're going to do is that we're, go we're going to nail this frame in. And then we're going to take out these, these uh, temporary shims and then put, um, put permanent shims inside. So that's the plan. And as you can see, there's a lot of work to be done because we're modifying the existing structure, especially one that wasn't designed with, uh, with the purpose of having frames inside of it. So, that's the plan. Oh yeah, uh, we also have this leveler bar here because the important thing is that we make sure that the frame is level. As you can see, it's not totally level, but it's the best we can do. All right, so we already got the frame aligned on this side. We're trying to align it with this outside pole here. You can see, it looks like it's pretty flush. And now what we're going to do, now what I'm going to do, is we're going to drive some nails into it. Or drive some screws into it. All right. So we already have these pre-drilled holes. Let me just, I gotta make sure it's straight. Okay. Oh, not straight. fast but now I'm going to put the second one in. It's best to be slow and steady when you're working with something like this. Always want to make sure it's straight and centered. Okay. Alright. So now Let's do a few more screws and then we're good to go. All right, so for this purposes, my dad says it's not important to make sure it's straight. As long as it goes into the post, it's all right. Like down here, if you see, oh yeah, I guess you can't see, but it's not, it's not in straight. But what's important is that it gets into the post. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put more, one more screw onto this side, then another screw onto that side, and then we're good to go. I can't do any more uh, footage this today. I do apologize for the wind, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, and just uh, thanks Azami for uh, helping out. I think we lost the uh, footage of us actually carrying it to the patio. Um, hopefully we didn't, but if we did, uh, I apologize for that. But uh, also, Azami also donated, originally when we were with these windows, 
we were going with some some pretty bland windows that had no grills. But then Zami, Zami, with his kind soul, he, he came out to my dad, check in hand for $240. He said, here, buy some fancy windows. And now we're going to go with some pretty cool windows that we'll show you in the next few videos uh, instead of these old, pretty boring windows. So, thanks to Zami. Or, He's a pretty cool guy. Already in his first year of college, and he's already have he already has a job. And oh, also uh, another person who's uh, donating uh, money for the windows is uh, Hatim. So you've probably seen Hatim in some of my videos. And if you don't know him, we'll probably get him in one of the future videos so you can see. And we're gonna dedicate some of these windows to uh, the people who donate. Uh, before we end this video, I just want to talk more about building around this pre-existing structure. So another problem that we have here is with making things flush. So on this side, you can see here that it's pretty easy to make the uh, the frame flush with the post. And on this side, you can also see that you see that same flushness. However, all the way at the end of the patio over there, uh, let me demonstrate on the opposite side so that you know what I'm talking about. On these side, on the inside, the frames are flush to the inside. However, if you look on the outside, uh, You'll see that they're not at all flush with the posts. So this is a problem that we're probably going to have to solve with some shims or something like that. But as you can see, there's a lot of things to think about when you're building around a pre-existing structure. And in this case, um, I think it's just that when they were building the patio, they didn't really have to worry about the posts all being aligned correctly. So that's why they're not, um, they're not flush. They're not all flush. Another thing is that you can see this frame, it fits pretty perfectly in its uh, in the hole that it is. And this frame, a bit more so. But on this frame, there's a lot of uh, empty space that we have to fill up with some shims. And like I said before, this is also chalked up to the fact that when they were building the patio, they probably didn't account for it being so precise that they that you could build three identical frames and have them all fit correctly. Uh, another thing is the floor. The floor is also something that we have to account for. As I was mentioning before, when this patio was built, it was designed with the intention of it being sloped so that when rainwater came down, it would drip off the side. Now, this is problematic because when we install the floor, we're going to install it so it's aligned with this side, so it's flush with this side. However, as you go closer to this end, it's going to become more uneven and this side of the floor, or this side of the railroad tie, is going to protrude out. So in order to solve that problem, what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to chisel it out so that the floor fits in correctly without it protruding out. But that's all, that's basically all the problems that we're encountering on building this or converting this patio into a sunroom. And if you're converting your patio into a sunroom, maybe you'll encounter some of these problems. And if you are converting your patio into a sunroom, put down in the comments what kind of problems you're encountering, and maybe some other people might have the same problem. But anyway, I'm Ayman. I'm Azami. And this is Burton. And thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on IM, especially the videos on install on converting our patio to a sunroom. And also the future videos, uh, I guess this was this wasn't really a how-to video, it was never intended to be. So I guess check out all of my other vlog videos on just what we're doing in our daily lives. So, me and Azami will see you there, and maybe Burton will see you there. But for now, I'm Ayman, I'm Azami, and signing out.